Despite that, as a system administrator, sometimes you need to manage the availability space between your Windows servers. So in today's video, I will be using this management, the one that show on the screen, and command line in administrator mode. These are the two available tools that is built in within Microsoft Windows or Windows Server. And not to worry that they are both free. The black screen showed at the center of the screen is the command line in administrator mode. I will strongly advise you to run both of them side by side to avoid any potential human errors during the event you are extending the disk space in the, the particular disk or partition. The command that I'm going to use in today's exercise will be this part. Inside this part, I will issue a command list this so that I'm able to confirm which hard disk I want to manage. I want to manage this file computer. So because right now I want to manage this file, I will select this file to confirm whether or not I am indeed select the correct hard disk. I will again list this. This that is a star or a S ray in front of this five. Basically, this actually telling you that this five is indeed selected. Because since I only want to manage this five in today's exercise. Okay, so let's clear this. Now, before I go in to delete off some of the partition, I will want to list the partition just to confirm which partition I will want to remove. As you can see, there is about six partition you have system reserve primary and last one good which is your recover partition which is this three notice the partition in here under this part is called partition four five and six primary partition uh, partition three. So which partition is actually the primary partition or partition three? In this case, in this case, H drive. Okay, H drive is actually the or partition three. Part primary partition is actually your Windows partition. Notice. All the partitions here are all primary partition, and the color code for it is dark blue. Dark blue. The unallocated disk space, which is the free disk space, is in black color. Now, what is partition one and partition two? Why there is system and reserve. So what is partition one and partition two? Oh, I want to manage this file and I want to create the display for my 190 map under the recovery partition so now what I can do is I go back to my command prop I carefully select the partition by comparing the sizes that I want which is 590 megabyte which is this 
that you can't find any other 990 megabyte in all six partition except partition four. Okay, except partition four. So now what I need to do is under this part, I will select partition four to confirm if I am indeed select the correct partition I will list partition okay now you see an X or the star in front of partition 4 so partition 4 it is indeed selected now what I can do is I want to free up the space between partition 4 I will issue a command delete partition I don't need to mention any uh, partition number because partition 4 is indeed selected I just run command delete partition notice there is an error virtual disk service error meaning this is a protected partition so if you want to really want to delete off this partition you can do force it how you can force it you go back to the command delete partition over right over right with force okay i want to force windows to delete because i want to manage the distance between this partition all right the meaning of override means i want to force it so now i enter notice it has successfully been deleted notice partition form has changed from healthy recovery partition to unlocated now i can manage this space within now i will issue a command extend size because the display here is 991 megabyte i don't need to type uh, megabyte or gigabyte by default windows we know size 991 is actually meant for megabyte so in this case this five i will need 991 megabyte so I will extend this space 991 megabyte to this 5. No volume selected. Um, let me list partition. Because just now I selected partition 4 and I have to remove partition 4 from the system so partition 4 is no longer selected however this 5 is indeed selected this uh, partition 4 is already been removed when you show this partition is no longer appear in the list partition because partition 4 has already been deleted off from the system so the error just now extend the, the error for the error for extend size equal to 991 megabyte which is 991 megabyte this 5 if you error this is because there's no partition being selected so now what you're going to do is you want to select the partition that you want to extend. Alright, now what you just can do is select the primary partition which is your Windows partition, the H drive, which is partition 3. 
70 gigabyte. To confirm if I have selected the correct the, the correct partition. So partition three is indeed selected. Now we run extend command size equal to 991 991 megabyte is five. This part has successfully extended the volume. So this is how you are going to extend your uh, allocated this space. So what happened was you want to manage the 650 megabyte this space. Can you do that? Go back to the this part tools. Run the command. Select partition one. Okay, that's all for today.